Okay, for the digestive system, we have to go into the pig's mouth cavity. So I'm going to turn my pig around, and I'm actually going to open up the pig's mouth very carefully because there are teeth in there. And I need to use my scalpel, and this is going to be um, kind of rough for some of you who are more squeamish. I need to use my scalpel to just cut right down the side of the pig's jaw. And then I'm going to go to the other side, and I'm going to cut down the side here. And I basically need to cut and then pry apart. He bit me. And then cut and pry apart and cut and pry apart until I get to the point, and I do have to cut through some bone here, until I get to the point that I can see the pig's epiglottis. So when you're asking yourself, is this far enough, is this far enough, is this far enough? The answer is, when you can see the epiglottis, then you've cut far enough. And you, you do have to kind of manhandle your pig a little bit to get to the point where you can see the epiglottis. And there is some bone to cut through. And some tendons and muscles and, and other good stuff. So here I am, I have a little bit of um, tissue in here, meconium is what this is called. But now I can see the pig's epiglottis once I get that gook out of the way. So in the pig's mouth cavity, I have the lingual papilla, these bumps right here, which you should remember from lab one. I have the teeth, which are um, on my pig, I've got some teeth down here and here, and then uh, I've got some teeth here and here. There are not quite as many as you might think there are. We have the hard palate, which is this hard, bumpy part. And then we have the soft palate, which is this part right here that helps the pig swallow. And then we have the epiglottis, which is this little flap. And that's what's going to help keep the piggy from choking uh, when the pig goes to eat. So that's going to help the pig differentiate between the trachea and the esophagus when there's swallowing happening. Also in the digestive system, we can go into the actual uh, body itself and we need to find the esophagus. The esophagus is located dorsal to the trachea. So I'm gonna get my picking probe out again, and I'm gonna again pick away at this tissue here, and I'm gonna find this soft, squishy tube that's just dorsal to the trachea. So this hard thing is the trachea, that's where the pig's gonna breathe. And then there's this soft tube going behind it, that's the pig's esophagus, that's the one where it's going to swallow. And if you actually push all of the rest of these organs out of the way, which I know doesn't thrill some of you, we can get back here and you can see this big white tube. That's actually the descending aorta. That's going to carry blood. But then there is this squishy tube right here and that's the esophagus again. So that esophagus then leads to the stomach, which is down here. And if I pull on the stomach, you can see the esophagus move. That's how you know it's the esophagus, because if I pull on the stomach, the esophagus moves. And of course, the esophagus is taking blood to the stomach. Moving right along, some things that you've already identified, the small intestine here, and the large intestine here. Then you have the rectum. The rectum is going to deliver the solid waste out to the, uh, out to the anus. And the rectum normally is quite full of green gookiness in your pigs, but it does not appear to be in this pig. So, in fact, this appears to be our pig's rectum right here. So that's that tube bleeding out. Yours is probably going to be nice, fat, fatter, and greener. Then you have the liver, which you've already identified. The gallbladder, to find the gallbladder, you have to lift up this lobe of the liver, and you have to look for this thing that looks like a teardrop. Sometimes it's a much darker green. Here's a teardrop. And then there's a duct coming out of it, and a duct is just a tube. There's a duct coming out of it. That's the common bile duct. Finally, the pancreas. That's probably the trickiest one to find. You need to lift up the stomach. You need to lift up the spleen and you need to pick away with your probe to find this thing that looks like a bag of cottage cheese because it is a gland and glands look like a bag of cottage cheese most of the time. Find this right here. This is the pancreas.